All right, my guy Jackson, what's going on, bro? All the way from New York. <laughs> what you guys up, bro? Um, so when I usually cut it, I usually do an eight on the top. Okay. And I, but I leave the bang because I got crazy colics in the front right here. Okay. So if you cut it too short, it's just going to stick up. Gotcha. And then uh, just a drop fade, a drop. mid drop fade. Okay. And then uh, with the beard, are you, uh, are you cleaning it up at all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it, man. YouTube, what's going on? So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be cutting my boy Jackson Atlas, man. He is a dope barber out in New York, man. Um, but the relationship with him and his wife Monica, who also has helped educate on the academy about accounting um, and keeping your books as a barber. Um, so he's in, he was in town for vacation, man, and want to come through and get a cut so what he asked me for was a number eight on top and then with the fringe area he likes to um, keep a little bit longer so we went ahead and did sheer work there um, and just connected it to that number eight that we cut we are going to line up his fringe um, make it look symmetrical and uh, then he's gonna do a medium drop fade so I started off with vertical sections just so I could layer it really well, um, make it look soft, not not too uh, bulky. And then uh, we went ahead and cross-checked by taking horizontal sections. All right, my next step is gonna be to bald out. I'm gonna start that initial guideline fairly low just because he wants to drop it in the back. And so we need to keep that into consideration. same thing and just make sure both sides are even and the trimmers that I'm using are the custom FX's with a 245 power clip these are the babyless skeletons guys these shavers they deserve a review all by themselves I got you guys soon those are the FX3 shavers. All right, I'm using my um, cordless wall seniors. You're gonna notice I'm gonna hop around with different clippers. What happened was all my clippers were dead and I wasn't charging them um, the night before. Therefore, I'm gonna be hopping back and forth to different clippers, um, especially since I don't have any cords on my station. Literally, all my clippers were dead. And I, you know, I just had got back from Little Rock, Arkansas, so I hadn't charged them at all. All right, so um, with this blade open, we're gonna go ahead and start taking out that bottom line, um, starting off with the clipper closed and then opening the lever um, about a quarter of the way every time we go up a quarter of the way. All right, makes sense? Until we're back to all the way open, then this section will be blended. So in this step, we're gonna go with the number one guard all the way open, and we're going up about an inch up. 
once we've done this all the way around the head this is going to be the next section that we blend out so we're going to blend this section out before we move on and typically what i do to blend this section out is either um sometimes i'll close the number one um just to and blend down or sometimes i'll go with my half guard um close or core the way open and blend up so in this example i'm going to blend up with the half guard i'm going to do the same thing that i did the previous section opening the lever about a quarter of the way every quarter inch we go up until this section is blended and then we'll move on to the next step this is going to keep you organized going to keep your blend um balanced on both sides by doing this instead of hopping back and forth different um guards and stuff this is going to help you especially if you get lost in your fades a lot this will help you tremendously and notice we just hopped to the uh, the gamma uh alphas <laughs> which the 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 this clip this is a good clipper man it just it's sharp so be careful with that blade all right, so at this point, I'm going to go with a number three guard, and I'm going to start debulking because um, I think in the beginning, I started with a number four. No, I didn't. I didn't. So we're just going to debulk with this number three and then a number two underneath that, as you can see. And then we'll start to blend this section out, this number two section out with that one and a half guard, the red one and a half guard. Sorry, I like this beat. Guys, and if the colors look a little bit off right now, man, I've been having trouble with my iPhone. I don't know if there was an update or something, um, but you guys know I film, film everything with my iPhone. And I can't figure out how to get HDR off. That's ruining um, the video. So when we go edit, we got to do a lot of post color correction. And it just doesn't ever look like the original. Um, and you'll see when I show the before and after, um, the after looks a little bit different than the rest of the video because I I had to make some adjustments with the video um, so keep that into consideration if you guys know how to turn off HDR like I've tried going into settings and turning off smart HDR um, but then I don't know how to turn it off of, of the actual video um, recording so I know it's confusing but I've been trying to figure that out all right, so you guys saw I used some blending shears to soften that ridge up. And now we're gonna go ahead and blend in the beard. And we didn't do like a deep blend or anything like that. We just kind of focused on blending out the sideburn area. All right, now we're gonna repeat the same thing on this side all the way through to the back. So you guys can follow along with the color guide on the bottom left corner. I'll shut up for, for a little while. All right, so I decided to, to use that number four guard because it, it still felt like there was a ridge in that area, even after using the blending shears, but I think that really helped out a bunch. Damn it, Tito. 
as it switched scenes, you can see it's kind of struggling with the colors. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm working hard to figure this part out. And I found it. All right, so to fix this, you go into settings, then you go to record video, and then you turn off HDR video. I cannot believe this. Finally, this will never be a problem again. My next vlogs, vlog, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Right, guys so one thing I wish I would have done here with the fringe is a technique that I use to kind of comb in different layers and line it up in different layers this still worked out but I ended up having to comb and brush the hair a bunch of times and touch the same areas up more times than I probably would have had to if I just sectioned the hair and lined it up that way all right so once I've lined it up we'll go ahead and detail clean up this beard it's funny because man i think i was torturing jackson because i was trying different trimmers that um we like that we hadn't tried before <laughs> and uh, it felt like i was nicking him and stuff but um he's good and guys jackson is is dope man he's been in the industry i think just a couple years man he's already going on you know working on opening his second location so Congratulations to him, man. He came out here all the way from New York uh, for a family, family vacation and visiting family. And uh, just hearing his story, man, his success. And, um, you know, veteran, so shout out to him. Thank you for serving. Um, but seeing what he's been able to do in this industry, man, is, is, is definitely dope, man. All right, doing some finishing touches here with the razor. Um, we did decide we were gonna enhance the cut. Um, so, and I think the enhancement definitely brought the cut to the next level. Even though it didn't need it, it brought it to the next level. And uh, that's that's it, man. That's what we care about. We're trying to get these cuts to the next level. And then with the beard, I just did like a few trigger taps. You know what I mean? I didn't go crazy on the beard. Um, Cause I, I definitely wanted it to look natural. Then we followed it up again with the razor. And uh, I feel like the beard, the way that we did it, really complimented him. Um, it wasn't overdone. And uh, yeah, this is the before, guys. Check out the after. All right, so you guys see the color grading is much better, more natural. And this is what I saw. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and I think it looks dope. So yeah, that damn blurry right there. That damn clean. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we drop daily content. Um, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications. If you like what you see, smash the like button. And guys, I will see you guys tomorrow with another banger.